uh, hi guys Bitek here um, this is uh, one of the devices I've been working on lately it's uh, <coughs> a red light uh, a therapy device uh, I tried a couple different circuits I, I know it's possible to, to make this um, more digital using Arduino or, uh, or a PIC uh, but I just want to make a simple version so it can be easily reproduced not everyone is familiar with the programming language and, uh, and can be frustrating um, anyway I, I decide in favor of um, a binary um, counter it's a CD4047 um, I used this in a couple designs and um, it's pretty simple uh, basically if you if you ignore this part it's only a visual indication uh, so the, the the only components uh, needed it's um, 220 ohm resistor from the positive rail uh, all these legs are connected together um, there is the main resistor or variable resistor um, and capacitor and that's pretty much it and uh, there are two outputs Q and minus Q we, we use one of them that's a pin 10 uh, this actually it's lower uh, in, in, in my uh, prototype it's 100 ohm going to the MOSFET and the MOSFET it's uh, driving this represents my uh, LED panel the panel runs of uh, 12 volts uh, DC and uh, there are already uh, built-in resistors so there is no need for a, a constant current and monitoring and um, actually since this is producing 50% um, uh, duty cycle I am running this off uh, almost 15.5 volt DC uh, so that's no problem for the panel because the, with the 50% duty cycle the panel will never see, uh, uh, will never exceed um, the manufacturer recommended settings. Um, I found that for uh, all seven uh, frequencies, uh, for a red light therapy, uh, I could get away with uh, only two capacitors. Uh, 10 nanofarads for uh, lower frequencies and uh, 1 nanofarad for the uh, two of the highest and the only uh, the only variable here is uh, uh, this um, resistor uh, so basically what you need this is just an example for one uh, one of the uh, uh, frequencies uh, uh, 292 pulses per second um, you need to build a bank of seven uh, resistors uh, and uh, have a small trim pot in series I use uh, uh, 10 uh, kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm uh, trim pots and uh, the way it works uh, the higher the resistance the lower the frequency so uh, it's good to pick, experiment and pick the resistor which will get you uh, very close and then add a small trim pot so you will have a precise um, tuning for each, uh, for each uh, setting, one of seven settings. Um, so this is basic diagram, like I said this is, this is optional. Um, what I did, uh, I am powering this uh, through the voltage regulator, uh, five, uh, 5 volt uh, regulator, it's 7805 regulator and uh, uh, coming off this uh, uh, rail, so there is a 15 volts in this part and coming, uh, going to the uh, LED panel and uh, there is a 5 volt powering uh, this uh, circuit. I just want to isolate the part which is pulse uh, to avoid any, any interference 
uh, and isolate the part of the uh, uh, timer circuit from the pulsing part. And here are just uh, examples of, of the frequencies, but due to the tolerance of the resistors, you have to experiment. This is just a, this is just a rough idea what you get, and actually what you see here. Uh, 660, 880 ohms in series. Uh, they've been replaced with uh, one uh, kilo ohm uh, pot. And uh, actually, this was uh, 10 kilo ohm pot. And the lower frequencies, uh, they have a 10 kilo ohm pots as well. And so that's experimental part. You have to play with it so you can tune and adjust precisely because we're talking uh, tolerance down to one pulse per uh, second. Um, the whole the whole idea is based on uh, research and work of uh, uh, Dr. Nogier uh, and also this was uh, uh, discovered by uh, George Lakowski when he was working on his devices and um, uh, multi-wave oscillator and he as well um, discovered the importance of uh, particular vibrations since uh, we are electrical beings and we respond to a uh, subtle uh, vibration the light uh, is just an electromagnetic wave we just uh, call it light for the spectrum which we can detect with our uh, with our eyes when we uh, when we go uh, several octaves um, uh, lower the light becomes sound which is again an artificial name because that's the part which we can hear it but that's pretty much the same thing it's a vibration and our cells uh, will respond to it uh, so um, according to um, um, Dr. Nogier uh, he discovered seven uh, fundamental tones and uh, they have a corresponding uh, frequency so if you will uh, a pulse per second because we're not talking Hertzian wave, we're talking uh, square wave here, so uh, Hertz is not really an uh, appropriate term to describe. Anyway, th these frequencies are uh, um, multiples of uh, 73 uh, poles per second. So we have uh, the lowest 73, then it's uh, double that 146, uh, then it's 292, 584, 1,168, 2,336, and 400, uh, 4,672, being the highest. That's the highest, it's for pain control uh, mainly and for uh, arthritic conditions. Um, anyway, I finally get this uh, uh, boxed that's the main that's the main unit um, on the back I have the input uh, 110 AC and uh, the jack for the uh, LED panel and on the front panel I have a, a digital uh, a frequency meter um, power switch and selector knob and uh, a fine tuning. Uh, basically, what I did is uh, after uh, after coming um, from the board with uh, a bank of uh, resistors and trimmers, there are two lines coming. These two lines coming uh, to the circuit. So what I did, I put another uh, 1k uh, trimmer, uh, turn turn uh, trimmer so I can I can adjust uh, while I'm using it without opening and and, um, and accessing all the all the trimmers and uh, <coughs> excuse me and this is the output for the small uh, for the small small pen it's a one watt uh, uh, 660 uh, uh, nanometer uh, red LED for uh, treatment of the small areas and that's the uh, one of the panels I'm testing that's a 711 LEDs uh, they are mainly uh, 660 um, 
uh, red but also I have some yellow and some blue in it so I'll give you a quick look how this works you you will see it blinking in a camera this is the lowest frequency it's 73 uh, Hertz uh, so that's the effect the, the camera produces it's slightly higher uh, than our eye uh, can can detect and um, so that's right now we, we are at the lowest uh, 73 uh, we can go up 146 292 584 1168 I see when something like that happen uh, you can just turn this a little bit down and and set on the on the right uh, frequency. Then it's 200, 2336. Again, we might want to go a little bit higher, and uh, that's the highest. 606.72 supposed to be. So we can crank. We can crank a little bit higher to get it right. Yeah, we're roughly we are roughly there. So right now, so right now I have the pen. Like I said, this is for a small, uh, small area. So I tried this already. I, I treat my uh, damaged eye, and uh, I got a piece of steel near the retina and uh, it did work it did work and uh, anyway I, I use a laptop uh, uh, monitor base which uh, the panel can swivel a little bit up so it can be set on a table and used for a treatment of neck area face area and um, I have also different uh, different panel. This one it's uh, uh, 16, 14 or 16, 16 watts. So uh, I can use with uh, with this panel as well. It's the same. It's the same uh, type of uh, socket. And these panels are available. I got them off eBay. Uh, so it can be used with any of th any any of them. And again, uh, I found that it's not the power really what matters. It's uh, the wavelength of LED and the uh, and the frequency. So it doesn't have to be a hundred watt LED uh, to treat uh, something, but uh, right uh, spectrum and right uh, frequency. Uh, for uh, anyone interested, there is a there is a great book, uh, Healing Energies of Heat and Light, uh, by uh, Charles McGee. It's a great book, and I highly recommend to anyone interested deeper in the subject to uh, to get it. It's a very very good very very good reading. Um, so anyway, that's uh, um, pretty much all. Uh, I have uh, PCBs made. Um, I just end up, I just end up cutting, uh, cutting this PCB. As you can see, that's the uh, okay. That's the part with uh, uh, four zero four seven uh, timer. There is a place for. Uh, a voltage regulator and it's a first first MOSFET goes here for the uh, LED panel and there is a, a constant current circuit and the second MOSFET uh, for a, uh, for a pen uh, I have to cut it because I I, I use this kind of a switch and uh, it was more convenient for me to have uh, one part of PCB the small one with the switch mounted on and uh, and all the trim pots and resistors on it and then 
one wire goes through this uh, uh, main trim pot on the on the panel, and um, the other wire just connects to the uh, connects back to the to the board. Yeah, these two points, which are uh, jump together, and the uh, second part it's it's separate. It sits in a different part of the enclosure. That's a separate part with uh, with all the uh, timing and uh, driving options. Uh, that's roughly a sketch of this design. So you have the main you have the main circuit uh, and uh, it's powered through 220 ohm resistor voltage regulator. It's got a couple capacitors. Uh, that's the output going to the uh, first MOSFET. This represents the uh, LED panel, the one I showed you a second ago. And from the uh, from the drain, I go to uh, uh, constant current. There is uh, well, you have to experiment depending on. Uh, I use one watt LED, so I just want my. Uh, the maximum current of my LED is 300 uh, milliamps, so I adjusted this, and uh, as well I put another 10 ohm resistor uh, in series with uh, with the power LED uh, to make sure I am not exceeding uh, the, the the current. I'm running in about 250 uh, 250 milliamps on the lowest. 73 uh, poles per second setting. Once you, you go higher, the the current will will drop slightly. And uh, that's the switch I use. It's a 12 position switch. So basically, what uh, what you need to do it's a drill in two places uh, and put a little uh, three millimeter uh, screw in it. So it will limit movement, so it can only go uh, six times. So you have a seven seven position for your for your setting. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all, and uh, it's it's work. I have I have a prototype built while ago, and I just never had the time to. Uh, I was I've been busy with other projects. I'm working right now on. Uh, on the George Lakowski uh, multi-wave oscillator, and uh, finally I I managed to to box this and put this together. So that's pretty much all. For more information, um, please visit Energy Science Forum. There is a red light uh, therapy uh, thread, uh, as well as uh, uh, electronic healing devices and uh, there is a back devices being discussed and and everything else related to uh, uh, alternative ways of uh, dealing with our health thank you for watching